Hello everyone and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for the 11th of April 2023 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. And remember, these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. So let's see what we have for the day, please. Angel Spirits Guides message for the day. What do we have for the day? Overarching energy, we have the Strength card. With that, we have the Nine of Swords. The Four of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Five of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Nice energy. Let's pull an extra card for the Strength card. Let's see what we have, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for the day. Clarify strength. Thank you. Yeah, I've got the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups again. So the Ace of Cups can be emotional rebirth. This feels like an existing relationship as well, if it's to do with relationships, whether it's friends, family, love, romance. With the Empress being here, this could even be with a mother or affecting a mother in some way as well, but not limited to that. So this can be a, a really positive energy in terms of emotional renewal, rebirth, uh, renewed love. But is the heart open? The Four of Cups is, this is being offered to you, but you're not sure whether to take it or not. However, this person is wise enough to understand that they don't want to rush into a decision that they later regret. So they go to their quiet space and consider, reflect, even reevaluate their situation here. And it's a good energy to do, you know, this, the Four of Cups. It can be. I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. I just need to think about it, whether I want emotional rebirth here. With the strength, being truly honest with yourself to face something head on, deal with it head on. Um, that's the energy that I'm seeing. You know, the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords, love being offered, renewal being offered, but someone's not sure. They're not happy. This is thoughts become things, you know. Our thoughts respond to this situation. We then overthink, we overdwell. But it can be quite a negative energy, the Nine of Swords, and it is based in fact, though it can be when our mind can really blow things out of proportion as well, magnify the situation through overthinking on a situation here. And it's to do with emotional rebirth, emotional renewal, renewal of a relationship. Because there's an energy of Five of Swords. Five of Swords can be someone doing something disrespectful. Um, could be arguments, conflict, even potential endings that ensue from that because, you know, the swords can hurt. So this is the energy here of if it's affected either the home, the family, the relationship or it's within that dynamic. Uh, four of Wands is Germany, happy home, happy family, four corners of stability and security. And fully appreciating that someone's been made to feel lack. Five of Pentacles by someone's actions. This is the outcome. This is how someone feels. I'm not sure. I don't like the way you make me feel. 
you go and do what you want to do and you completely disregard me. You don't value me. You don't um, appreciate me. You know, this is the energy here that someone's been made to feel. Um, the five of pentacles can be a card of lack, feeling lack. There's not, I'm not sure there's enough in this relationship to keep me in it. I'm not getting out of the relationship, whatever this relationship is, for my needs to be met. So that's the energy here. Which is when somebody kind of like is saying, I'll do more, I'll give more. I want to take action to give you greater value, greater appreciation. We balance the scales here in some way. Rather than doing everything that I want to do, I understand it's about a give and take. Sometimes call the breadcrumb card with the six of pentacles because it can sometimes be in order to keep somebody... They say they're going to do more, offer more, offer some kind of like incentive or sweetener. But it's not everything that they could give. It's just giving a little bit more to keep somebody on the hook. With regard to a new beginning, you know, the Empress can be the birth of something new, very healing, very nurturing. But certainly an energy here of uh, a new beginning where you will be treated as you deserve. The Empress energy can be a new abundant energy. Abundance is where we don't feel lack, where we feel valued, appreciated and, and worthy, you know. So, and really the Empress energy wouldn't settle for anything less than that. So this is the energy here of, there looks like kind of a renewed energy. Somebody is offering somebody renewal in a relationship, but I feel that this is someone really looking at this from a point of strength in whether they take that offer or not because they want to feel that abundant energy and they're very clear about what makes them feel abundant is whether this is what they want. So let's see what we have. Any advice for this reading, please? Spirit, thank you. The Hermit. And the Two of Cups, yeah. And bottom of the deck, I've got the Page of Swords. Oh, too many. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Page of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune was beneath that. Four of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, I'm stopping there. This feels like uh, Queen of Wands can be somebody who takes empowered action. Very much like that Strength card. They're not afraid, afraid to face things that need to be faced. This can be somebody who is independent in spirit you know they would choose a relationship um they don't necessarily need one this is somebody who takes empowered action takes control moves in the direction that is in their truth you know that's the energy here three of swords three of swords can be you know to do with heartbreak painful situations emotional pain being caused in a situation Four of Wands, Happy Home, Happy Family, again, Four Corners of Stability and Security. Really with these cards, it looks like there's going to be empowered action because someone has been hurt here in terms of the relationship, the family or something that's affected that. The Hermit is about shining the light from within, even having some quiet space to yourself to find answers and wisdom about whether you reconcile with this person, the Two of Cups, kindred spirit, soul connection, somebody who would be very connected to you here. Can be friends, can be family, can be love romance. So however that manifests for you here, but it's generally somebody who we feel that sense of oneness with, deep, powerful connection. And I feel that you're going to find the answer, the Page of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune, on whether this can be turned around or not, whether you do something differently. This can be, do I want to, you know, do I want to stay within, you know, on this cycle, on this pathway, or do I want to change things? Can we really turn things around or not? But I feel with this page of swords energy, this can be, you're going to find an answer. It could even be through some kind of communication, um, conversation even being had. So that's what, and it would be in truth with the page of swords. I feel hurt has been caused here and it's making somebody question whatever this relationship is and this time they're facing something head on there's a sense of resoluteness energy queen of wands energy the strength card male or female with that card but this is in order to move in a direction of what is abundant i feel that 
having some quiet time to yourself will serve you well. And also it might well be, I mean, again, the page of swords, you get the information, knowledge that you need to make that kind of decision. So let me pull a final message. Hermit is very healing energy as well, but it's shining the light from within because we find that illumination, the answer, the knowledge in terms of how we then move forward. We have let the animals on, her, on earth support you. Feel their unconditional love, number 41. And we have give yourself time, be kind to yourself and heal in your own way, number 37. Yeah, I feel that you're being told you need some quiet time to reflect. Focus your mind on what you really want. We are helping, number 15. Again, listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition, number 21. I mean, the cards are just kind of like interesting. Seek professional help if you need to, all will be well, number 18. I mean, it's all kind of going with the reading. That's what I have for you for the day. I hope you found it useful. Maybe it confirmed a few things for you. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.